If you've got nothing to do, well, I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these vids, cause it's life hacks for kids. Hi friends, I'm Jillian, and today's episode is Better Bedroom Hacks. My first hack will help you clear up your clutter. Let's make my hang in there baskets. For this you'll need string, baskets, scissors, and a bobby pin. Cut four equal strands of twine. Make them as wide as you can hold. Tie them together at one end. Lay them over each side of the basket. Use your bobby pin to help weave the twine through the middle top edge of one side of one basket. Loop the twine around, but don't tighten it yet. Repeat this step with the other three sides of the basket. Now adjust the twine so all the sides are even and the basket hangs flat. Tighten the knots. Attach your second basket the same way with the hanging twine. Now trim any excess. The perfect place to stash your stuff. My room is looking better already, but I still need to do something about Patty. Who's Patty, you ask? Patty is my pile of clothes. You probably have a pet pile in your room too. My mom totally won't let me keep her, which is so unfair. Looks like I'll have to tame this pile with my next hack, my hangless pillowcase hamper. For this, you'll need an embroidery hoop, paint, a pillowcase, a paper towel, and a paintbrush. Take your outside hoop, paint it whatever color you want, and let it dry. Grab your inside unpainted hoop and your pillowcase. Put your unpainted hoop around the outside. Pull the opening down around the hoop, like this. Place a larger hoop around it. Now tighten the hoop. Finally, tie some string around the screw, making it a loop for when you want to hang it. It's not the best basketball hoop, but it's still a great laundry hoop. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice there was a floor hiding under all those clothes. Well, now that I can see it, let's hack it with my stylish shower curtain rug. For this, you'll need an old bath mat, an old shower curtain, spray adhesive, and scissors. Lay down your shower curtain. Put your bath mat on top. Cut off the excess curtain. Fold over the sides of the curtain, making sure there's some extra room. Flip your shower curtain face down. For this next step, I'm using spray adhesive, but you can use a glue gun if you don't have any. Apply your spray adhesive. Then lay the bath mat on top, face down. Now, move the sides. Finally, cut off the flaps of fabric. and your stylish shower curtain rug is complete. And now that my bedroom's a dream, time to get back to mine. Hmm. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here for more life hacks for kids. I'm dreaming about Cotton Candy City, where I'm the mayor and I'm in control of all the cotton candy babies. <laughs>